we are in some absolute gorgeous areas of Oregon and I thought that um, since we've got some time to kill and we've got some time to be down that it would be good if I show you some of the beauty of Oregon right here around Mount Hood let's go explore a little bit of Mount Hood let's go check out the point Guys, this is the Columbia River, and you can see it. It goes all the way to the ocean, and it's a huge riverway. Uh, Washington State is just right there, so the Columbia River separates Oregon on the south side from Washington State on the north, and it is a massive river. Beautiful in the big. This place is, is grand. Y'all, this is the uh, the gorge up around Mount Hood. And uh, I'm gonna take you on that road right there. Let's go for a ride. So it's about 48 degrees right here where we are. Absolutely gorgeous. I came up here to, uh, to find some stuff to do with you all, but uh, <laughs> everything's closed. Oregon is uh, dead set against anybody having a good time or having any fun doing anything related to outdoor activities they want everybody to stay in their houses I guess and uh, not enjoy the sunshine but we got a little fresh mountain air coming off of Mount Hood this morning and now we're gonna go back down the mountain and, uh, that's a big chain mail right there that's a bunch of steel rings that are tied together History on the area here. It'd be nice if I did.
U.S. Department of Agriculture, the USDA, is who manages this until today. something else cool to look at soon. Stay tuned. Got me a shower. It's always lovely. My daughter and my wife uh, are getting ready to put Chloe through college or take her to college. And you ought to see the pile of mess that they've got. I hope she makes a video about all that process because I would love to see the process of getting her to school. Um, she said she was going to take some video, and I'm hoping that she does. It would be really nice to see all of that. And I'm glad I'm not there because uh, that pile of mess that she had in the living room the other day, I would not be putting all of that stuff in a truck and taking it to school to haul up three flights of stairs. But they tell me that it's all necessary and all needed. She's got, I forget how many pairs of shoes she said she was taking. Really? She's only going to be there to November. Uh, you know, whatever. I'm glad it's them and not me. But, uh, yeah, we are uh, just cruising, getting back to Indiana. And, uh got another load to pick up get back out here and uh, to Dallas we're just going to keep making these western loops as long as we can until the weather gets bad which we got about another month and a half two months of running out here and uh, you know, excited about that just, it is what it is you know just keep grinding keep turning truck tires Speaking of tires, I gotta get my tires rotated again. Then we'll make one more trip out and back and then it'll be time to change the oil again. This truck just uh, keeps eating up the road, eating up the road, eating up the road. I did, I did get a service contract, which is good. Uh, wasn't cheap, but uh, man, this is gorgeous country right here. Oregon has a lot of farmland, a lot of farmland, and uh, cattle grazing land. 
Oregon may be one of the most beautiful states out west. Uh, just the diversity that it has, you know, coastal Oregon and then uh, western or, or eastern Oregon is, is just, it's got some mountains and some hills, but there's huge flat plains in between these mountain ranges. <laughs> it's really very interesting to me. But uh, got my new duds, got my shower. The thing about bobtail or, or uh, you know, the, the, the drive back after we get our loads dropped, a lot of guys complain about, you know, not having a load to go back the other way. It's my favorite time to drive because I can, you know, I'm, I'm little, I can get in and out of places. I don't have to worry about the trailer. I can stop when I want to stop, get on when I want to get on. I don't mind the deadhead miles. The deadhead miles are kind of my favorite driving miles. Uh, be good to, to get back in the areas closer to home. Just missed out on a pretty sweet load because I got a little antsy and didn't wait on it. But, you know, that's part of the learning process. Got a sweet load coming back out, and uh, we'll, we'll get on that one and uh, get it delivered next week. Just keep turning those miles, baby. Keep turning those miles.